channel. Today I am going to be showing you the second part of my two-part Christmas and birthday unboxing special and this one is literally going to be from start to finish. I ordered this from the Saks Fifth Avenue in Beverly Hills and I have not even opened it. I've been waiting to film this so that way I can share everything with you. So I'm hoping this is the correct bag. She said it was. She sent me some pictures but let's get cracking into this and we'll see what we got here. So I am just gonna break on into it and here we go. So I have pretty much been wanting this bag ever since I got my Neverfull. I have been wanting another bag that closes on the top that I can use for travel that is more carefree. So I just cut into this here and let's see what we got inside. Alright, so make sure that you can see this. There is just so much packaging. And it looks like they still have the holiday ribbon. And oh, they also gave me a holiday bag and then the receipt here. So let's get rid of the ugly box and we will go into the pretty box. It looks like that they still have the holiday ribbon left, so that's fun. I did order this about a week ago in the middle of January and it took a little bit of time to get here. So let's get in and see what we got. Okay. Now, as you can tell, it's nice and flat here. For the newer dust bag. I got the Louis Vuitton Speedy Bandolier in the Damier of Ben print. And I am so excited. I haven't even looked at this. It, she just sent it like this, so let's get it open here and I'll put it up. This is the Louis Vuitton Speedy Bandolier 30 in the Damier Ben print, obviously. And look at that, it has the gorgeous red interior. So the reason I ended up getting this one is because I needed a really good travel bag. I absolutely adore my Neverfull, but it doesn't zip on the top. And so that was one of my requirements to get another bag here. I wanted one that zipped on the top. So if I were to put it underneath the seat in front of me on an airplane, my items wouldn't spill out. Uh, sometimes the Neverfulls can be too tall depending on what airline you're taking. So you'd have to put them on the side and the contents could come out. I also wanted one that I could wear crossbody, so that way I could wear it day-to-day -day use and it was a lot different than what I already had in the Neverfull. And then I also needed one that was big enough inside that I could fit plenty of items for travel. This holds about the same amount as a Neverfull, so that's why I went with a size 30. The 25 was just too small and a 35 would be too large for everyday use. And I wanted this one to be more versatile, one that I could wear for travel as well as day to day. So I am super excited to wear this, try this out, and make this my everyday bag as well as my go-to travel bag. Now I'm gonna do a review on this bag just to kind of walk you through all of the ins and outs and if you do get an item like this, what to expect. So as you saw, when they send it to you or when you take it home, it is gonna be folded up. And the reason they do this is primarily for storage space. Now, when I store them at my home though, I do fluff it up as big as it will go like this and then I fill it up with air paper. So the air paper will help to get rid of these creases which will work themselves out over time since this is a brand new bag from the store. It hasn't had a chance to do that yet but in a couple of days if it has been set up on a shelf with air paper in it these will go away on their own fairly soon. Now like I said this is the Speedy Bandolier 30 in the Dami Aben print. For Louis Vuitton novices I'm going to break that down for you what exactly all that means. So the Speedy refers to the style of the bag. That is the barrel style with the top handle and zippered enclosure. The bandolier refers to the strap that can be added on. The 30 is the size measuring from this corner to this corner in centimeters. This one is 30 centimeters. If you look on the side here, kind of pull down this D-ring, it will have a 30 right in there. Or 
25, 35, whatever type of bag you have. Also, traveling down here on the same side where it gives you this size, it will show you where the handbag was made. So it will say Louis Vuitton Paris and then made in France, made in Spain, or if it was made in the US, it won't say anything. So this one just says Louis Vuitton Paris. Since I purchased this in the US and this is a more classic style bag, uh, like the Neverfull, primarily if you buy them in the US, they're gonna be made here in the US. And then the Dami Eben means the color. So the Dami is a checker pattern and then the Eben is the dark brown. There is also the Dami Azure, which is the checkered in the white and kind of a light grayish color. Now, if you'll notice on this bag, compared to a lot of the monogram style and even the Dami Azure bags, this one has dark brown straps as opposed to the untreated leather or Vachetta. The reason why I love this style of bag or this pattern, color, texture of bag so much is because it does have the treated leather. I don't have to worry about water getting on this. It's already treated. It's not going to stain it. So this one is just more carefree. And that's specifically what I was looking for when I wanted a smaller travel bag. It does have Louis Vuitton on all of the little rivets and hardware, the LV. And then on the sides here, how this one is different from the regular Speedy. Like I said, this one is the bandolier version. It has an extra strip of leather on the side here, and that is so you can put on this extra strap here. This is what is gonna make it into a crossbody or over the shoulder bag. The regular Speedies do not have this, so a lot of times people will just hook a strap right here and try to turn their normal Speedies into a crossbody, but that does not work because it puts a lot of extra tension on the sides here and it will eventually start to rip the canvas. So if you do want a bag that is a speedy but you can wear it crossbody, you pretty much have to get the bandolier to make sure that it does not damage the regular speedies at all. So you're just gonna hook it right here and then on the other side as well. And then you can wear this as a crossbody or as a shoulder bag. Now if you look at the strap here, it is in three pieces. You have one piece here, one piece here and then one piece of top here and there are the buckles here so you can take this middle piece off and it would essentially be shortened to about right there and that is how you can have it as a shorter shoulder bag now traveling to the top you can see that this is the gold hardware because obviously this is part of the women's line the men's line has silver hardware so their keep alls which are a similar shape and style to the speedy it's just a larger size they also make some for women those ones in the men's style are going to be in the silver hardware now your bag is going to come with a lock and then a set of keys if you look at the top of the bag where the zippers are, you're going to see two additional little loops here. That is so you can lock up your bag for added security if you're in a crowd or if you put it down and you don't want anybody to get into it. So the way that you lock it is you just flip one of these over and then whichever one it is on top of, that is where you're going to put your lock on. So you can latch it here and then it is zipped up and nobody is going to be able to get in the bag. You just use the keys that it comes with. You can unlock it here. And then you are ready to go. Moving on to the interior of the bag. As you can see, since this is the Damier Ben print on the exterior, it is gonna have that gorgeous red interior. It comes with a little pouch and that's where they store the keys in the lock. And then inside, there's also a nice size pocket here that opens up and you can fit a fair amount of stuff in there but other than that it is one large compartment so that way you can fill it with anything you could possibly need what I'm gonna try out is putting a bag organizer inside because that way I will be able to easily grab my items and I'm not gonna be in here searching around for my wallet if I'm at the checkout or trying to find my keys if it's really cold outside and I'm walking to my car that way I can just unzip it look in see right where I need to go and then grab those out. Similar to the Neverfull, there is a D-ring inside of here as well. That way you can hook on your keys or if you have a pouch, you can hook that right there and that way it will add for additional security if you happen to not lock this. But if you also don't put a divider inside here, you'll know right where the keys are and you can easily grab those because those will be right there near the top. And then finally, for the last interior piece, 
if you lift up that interior pocket and look at this tab here, that is gonna give you the date code. And what the date code shows you is it gives you two letters first, and that will tell you what factory it was made in. So you can narrow it down to the country and then even the specific location. And the second four numbers indicate, in this case, it would be the week and the year that it was made. Uh, previously, I believe they made the change in 2007. It would have shown you the month and then the year, but now they are showing you the weeks and the year. So that way you can narrow it down even further and get an even more specific time for when your handbag was made. <music> joining me on my unboxing journey of the Louis Vuitton Speedy Bandolier 30 in the Dame and Ben print. If you haven't already done so, make sure that you also watch part one of my Christmas and birthday haul slash unboxing, and I will make sure I link that down below for you. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up, and if you haven't already done so, hit the subscribe button. I'd love to make sure that you're notified whenever I put new content up, which is all the time. And if you have any questions, comments, or you're interested in getting this bag, or you want to know some specifics on it, feel free to leave me a comment down below. And until next time, thanks for stopping by. Bye.